In the new, much-anticipated movie, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, based on J.K. Rowling's second book, a trio of child actors shine yet again. As Hermione Granger, Emma Watson has grown both professionally and personally. She's smart, beautiful, and she's a girl whose brain gets her best friends, Ron and Harry, out of as many a jam as they all become better and better wizards. Emma Watson, good morning. Good to see you, Emma. <laughs> see you, too. So at age 12, you're 12 now? Yeah, I'm going to be 13 soon, though. Yeah, but now you're kind of a veteran actress at this point. What was it like <laughs> the second time around? How did it compare your, to your first experience? It was really good because I kind of enjoyed the second one much more than I enjoyed the first one, and I enjoyed watching the second one much more than I did the first one. Why? Um, Making-wise, it's probably just because like, I need the cast, I need the crew, I need the director, and let's face it, I knew what I was doing this time now, <laughs> which was good. Yeah. <laughs> and watching it, I just thought it was much, much better. I think it's a billion times better than the first one. Like, a billion, a trillion. Times. I've heard a billion, a trillion. I've heard you say that, you know, um, <laughs> when, when people ask you about the movie. But why do you think it's so much better? Just because it's like... It's funnier, it's scarier, it's... The special effects are really good. There's lots more characters. And with the first one, you kind of had to introduce everybody. And the second one, you just go straight into all the action and stuff. Yeah, so. And I know that as, as the movies progress, as we see, you know, her, all, the, all the J.K. Rowling books yeah. transformed into movies, they get a little more sophisticated because yeah. as you all get a little older, obviously yeah. the plot becomes more sophisticated, which begs the question, is it, do you think these are too sort of edgy or too scary for little kids, Emma? Um, I mean, I went in with a five-year-old, and I was actually the one who was carrying in the seat. But it, it just kind of depends on the child and whatever. It, yeah, it depends. Now, we've got, we've got uh, a, a clip, I know, of, of another scene. And this is when you have figured out how to make a complicated potion, i got to get this right, to turn Harry and Ron into other students so they can spy on Harry's arch rival, Malfoy. So let's take yeah. a look. <laughs> Why are we bringing this potion in broad daylight in the middle of a girl's lavatory? Don't you think I'll get caught? <laughs> no. No one ever comes in here. Why? Moaning Myrtle. Who? Moaning Myrtle. Who's Moaning Myrtle? I'm Moaning Myrtle. I wouldn't expect you to know me. Who would ever talk about ugly, miserable, moping, moaning myrtle? <laughs> She's a little sensitive. <laughs> I hate when that happens. You're kind of the brains behind the operation, which is great. <laughs> Don't you think for little girls everywhere to see Hermi Hermione coming up and scheming and, and figuring things out so well? Yeah, girl power. Yeah, right on. So so what about some of the other special effects? It must be so fun for you, Emma, to do these movies, to kind of look at a green screen and have to act and then see what Chris Columbus does in terms of all these special effects. Are you amazed once you see it like on the sick. big screen? Yeah. It's kind of like this massive surprise when you see the film. You think it was if I was like in it and I knew all the scenes were just happening and everything, but I completely don't. And when I see it, it's this massive surprise. The special effects aren't that bad. They give you marks and stuff, so you get used to it. Now, I know that you've said that you and Daniel and, and Rupert have become quite friendly. Yeah. Which is nice, isn't it? Yeah. How do you do, but how do you do this and also keep up with your studies? You obviously are tutored on the set. Yeah. Just, um... Obviously, I was tutoring on the set three hours minimum, five hours maximum worth of schoolwork to do. And because it's one-to-one, -one, you kind of get a lot more done and stuff. As far as keeping up with friends, is, it's just a weekends. I try and see as much as I can, and email is always really good. So. Yeah, that is a great way to stay in touch with yeah. people. Meanwhile, it must have been sad for all of you when Richard Harris died, who, of yeah. course, played Dumbledore. I'm sure you missed him a lot. Uh, or yeah. and were really, really sad to hear about <laughs> that. Yeah. So... Yeah, and then Kenneth Branagh stepped in, right? Uh, yeah, he's in the second film, and he's really, really good. Um, I think he portrays Gilderoy Lockhart really, really well. Yeah, well, listen, it's great to see you, and I know you get a, a little break between this and the next movie. Yep, I start around February or March, so I'm really looking forward to that. Well, you deserve a little R&R. &R. Emma Watson, <laughs> thanks for coming in.